what's the issue with photo backup? Well, for the most part, we don't do it, right? Uh, you put your photos and your videos on your computer and you think because they're there, they're safe. But then what happens when you delete a folder and accidentally it takes a bunch of pictures with it or your hard drive crashes, something like that? Well, you know, you don't want to lose all those memories. So in looking for a fix, we discovered this product. It's called Photo Stick. Uh, we tried it out and uh, it solves that problem. We think you're going to like it. So right here, I have my pictures folder. And as you can see, there's just a ridiculous amount of pictures in here. I mean, I don't even, <laughs> I'm not even sure. It seems like every time I look in here, I find pictures that I just haven't seen forever. I didn't even know where they were. Like this, I mean, I haven't seen that picture of my son. He is 16 years old now. I mean, look at this. So, I mean, if I were gonna try and save all these pictures uh, on an external like USB drive or something, having to copy them by hand and transfer them over, first of all, I'm pretty confident I'd miss something. Uh, even if I did manage to get them all, it would take me forever to do that. I don't even know where all the pictures are on my computer. I mean, I've got these, I've got, I've got some in downloads. I mean, you know, over here, here's a bunch of them sitting in downloads. I've got different folders sitting in different places. I've got videos sitting in here from, there's just, they're all over the place. So the solution, is the photo stick. And this is what it looks like. It, it looks like just a regular little USB, but it actually has software on there. And that's the secret is the software because the software is gonna seek out and find every single photo, every single video on my computer. And then it backs them up onto the photo stick itself. It'll even organize them on there and uh, identify them, make sure that you don't have any duplicates. Uh, it's just amazing. So here we go. I'm gonna plug the photo stick into the side of the computer right there. As soon as I do that, It'll, uh, it'll actually start blinking. It tells me it's working. And then right up here, it actually pops right up on my desktop. Now the photo stick works with uh, Mac or Windows. And when you first open it up, it'll say the photo stick Mac or the photo stick Windows. I'm on a Mac right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that one and it'll open the software. This is so easy. I mean, I can't even tell you, it's like no hands. So once this opens, then you're just gonna take a look down right here. You see the big green go button, that's it. I'm gonna click go and it's off to the races. Look at this, I'm not touching anything. Right now it says the folders searched. It searched over 3,200 folders. It's already found almost 7,500 videos and photos. It's going through, it found 610 duplicates. I mean, unbelievable. So I'm gonna let this go and uh, you know, as it goes, uh, it's automatically gonna seek everything out. Depending upon how many photos and videos you have, it'll take anywhere between five and maybe 15 or 20 minutes, uh, if you have a ton of them, to seek everything out and find them. And then we'll come back and we'll see what it found. So I'm not gonna touch it right now. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. All right, so you got to see the photo stick do its full job. Then what I did was come back on the computer and I loaded 49 more pictures on here, plugged the photo stick back in and ran it again. And take a look, it searched the same number of folders, but it had already saved 7,981 pictures and it knew that, so it only bothered loading on the new 49 pictures that I had added to the computer. It recognized the ones it didn't have and loaded those onto the photo stick along with the 7,981 we already had. Now, if I go over here and I take a look at my list of photos that it found, these are the 49 new ones that it found. And if I go in and take a look at my photos and videos right here, this is everything that's on the photo stick right now. This is everything that's safe and archived. I can pull the photo stick out of my computer. It doesn't matter if the hard drive crashes. It doesn't matter if I delete anything. Every single memory I have is super safe and sound on the photo stick. The photo stick, uh, I, you know, I love it. I think it's awesome. I think you will too. Uh, I have two different sizes that I've used here. It comes in a bunch of different ones. This is the 128 gig. The 64 gig is the one I have plugged into the computer right now. You know what? I, I would get the bigger size because you're just going to keep archiving your memories to the photo stick over and over again. You want as much space as you can get. So get the 128 gig. That would be my recommendation. And uh, you know what? It's a perfect item. 